Well then, here we are. A decade has come and gone since SimCity 4 was last released, and the reboot to the franchise is here, and it's upon us, and it's finally working, at least in the North American servers, and that's where we're playing, and that's where my game saves will be, because after all, our game saves can only be tied in onto one server, which is a bit sad. But here we go with SimCity. I've been looking forward to this for so long, and I'll probably be one of the only people that knows what they're doing on YouTube, so <laughs> hopefully you guys will enjoy my Let's Play of it. I'm definitely going to be showing you all of the new features in the game. I'll be exploiting the circular roads, etc. So that'll all be new and very exciting. And of course, I'm going to be creating a game. So here we get to choose our region. There's eight in total. I'm sure there'll be some DLC, which you'll have to pay for for more regions because there's no mods or anything. So eight does seem quite a little bit. Definitely not what I was expecting, but let's try to remain positive for at least as long as we can. So there's a couple of different regions, both small, medium, and large. The, the three cities are quite small, and you have Great Works as well, which you might have seen a trailer of Great Works. They bring in together your whole region with, for example, a solar power generator, which just creates a massive amount of energy, or a large international airport, which just brings in more people, tourists, businessmen, and probably residential people as well. So they all have... Massive improvements, these great works to your whole region, and it does change the way I guess you'd play. That's kind of new, and it'd be interesting to see how it works out. I'm not really going for too many mountains or too much water in here, so I'll be going for Viridian Woods. I do love the trees in Viridian Woods, they look mighty fine, if I may say so myself. We've got Sunrunner Bay, Discovery Delta, and Horizon Archipelago. I think in Horizon Archipelago, the trains don't really work just yet, so they're still working on a fix between these islands. That's pretty cool, though. Like, there's a bridge, I'd assume, that's connecting all these archipelagos up. Obviously, I don't think there's going to be any tunnels, so that's pretty cool. But we're going with Viridian Woods. It's got a nice amount of everything. Maybe not too many mountains, but mountains just stop us from building, and we want to build as much as we can. After all, there's no terraforming. So that's enough of me blabbering on. Don't think I'll be able to change the region's name, but I'll just call it Let's Play AR for the time being, if we will be able to change it. And I'm going to be creating a private region. Uh, I might go ahead and enable some of you guys to join in, although we'll have to wait and see. Sandbox mode is just cheating mode, so we don't want that. You don't have to worry about money or anything there. And we're going to be going for this area over here. Now this area is called Giovanni Woods, it's a new city, we can name it whatever we want later on. But it's connected by rail, so that's how we'll be able to export our freights. It's got a lot of coal, a fair amount of ore, no oil, a lot of water. Water is very important, especially in the beginning, I'll explain later. And we've got a bit of wind, so we can produce a bit of wind energy, but I'm not really too fast on wind energy production because I like to produce dirty energy until we get educated workers and we can build up a nuclear power plant. So here we are about four minutes in and we haven't even started. So everything's working fine now, which is just quite a shell shock to me. It worked when I downloaded the game first for about a good old eight hours, but I was playing at 12 a.m. through to like 8 a.m. Uh, so I couldn't really record. And then that's when the server problems started happening. <laughs> so I didn't record because I didn't want to wake everyone up in the family, which is no fun. But it's good to see that Maxes still haven't lost their weird fetish llamas. It's always nice to know. Okay, so here we are. Here is our plot of land. All the plots of land, from what I can tell, are exactly the same size. So EA or Maxis like to have said that they're medium size. Ooh, ooh, we're lagging a bit. Hopefully we don't have any performance issues. Okay, so this is how we're going to get started here. We're going to build a road, and of course, as I said, we're going to showcase all of the new features. Uh, so the first new feature, of course, are the roads. And you can have streetcars on them, so it's like a realistic city. But you can have circular roads at that. Now, you can't upgrade streets into avenues. But you can upgrade your low density streets to medium and then to high density streets. That's pretty cool. But of course, we want our main roads to be avenues. So let's get right into the center of the map, which is probably right over in this area. 
And circular towns or cities are the most efficient. I don't care who you are. They just are so good uh, in real life and also in the game as well. A bit lopsided over to the right, but that'll do. That's okay with me. I will exploit that a little bit later on. I'm sure we'll figure something out. And now we'll go for a straight road. To get a click on here, you can have different options as well. We'll just connect through that uh, highway over into the circle. And fantastic. That's all working well. Now, city funding has, or founding has been approved. And what we've got to do is check out the water and check out the water table. So we don't want to place any dirty industry over where the water table is. So over here is where our dirty industry will be. There's two reasons for that. One, because there's no table water there. But now you have to take into account which way the wind's blowing. So it's blowing down south at the moment. And it'll always stay down south. So what we've got to do is also go back to an avenue. I want to connect up to the circle. So there we go. Now we don't really start off with all that much money, so we do go and chow right through it because of all the roads. At least the avenues do cost a fair bit, and if you ask me, the roads cost way too much. But we'll have to take out our very first loan of $25,000. And now let's go with a low density street. We'll create an arced road, and all the arcs will be going around the center circle. So hopefully that makes sense. Did I do it right? There we go. Uh, that's a bit too wide. How about we go... Ooh. Well, I do want this one to be a large curved arced road at least. Something like that. Okay. Hopefully we'll be able to build a bit of industry on this little section. But, build up the power plant, which is a coal power plant we'll be going for. The wind power plant, 3 megawatts an hour at 10 miles per hour winds. And the winds are what? I'm sure you can check somehow. Wind map. We can This way you can see which way the wind's blowing. And as you can see, the interfaces for all the different information panels are so good. So nice and clean. They definitely have got that done right. Let's turn all these things off and we'll want to go back to power. It's enough of me talking, isn't it? So let's lay down that as well as let's lay down some water. Both of our most important utilities and we want the water tower to be pumping out water from the water table. Now you might be seeing this little pump pumping out water and as soon as it pumps out once, one unit of water comes out here as well. So it's a one-to-one -one recreation or simulation pretty much. Now the water has ganged up together, but all these units of water are realistically pumped out. So one of these dots is one pump. Pretty cool, if you ask me at least. So we're, we're laying down the foundations pretty well, if I can talk properly. And so that would mean it's time to go ahead and start creating some money. So we'll settle with uh, just low density streets and they'll be the centerpiece of our city or at least the curb bits right over here. Okay, we don't want to run out of too much money though. So now let's go, let's go ahead and get some residential buildings up in this joint. I do love this mechanical like pull back sound. It just sounds so good. It's like you're pulling back in a mechanical toy. One of those wind-up ones. That's bloody brilliant. Okay. And now the first lots are taken. So that would mean any moment now we'll see construction cars coming in. Construction workers. You can even click on the car if we manage to. Come on, I'm clicking you. Okay. There we go. And we can follow him and we can watch what he's going to be doing. Oh, God damn, I didn't even know that you were going there. <laughs> sort of veered off track, but there are some funny glitches still uh, such as uh, I've seen a couple of houses being placed on a massive mound, like literally a good couple hundred meters up in the air. Kind of weird, but <laughs> also funny to look at. So we're placing residential housing, but of course our people would want to shop. 
So we need some commercial business up here as well. So the way I'm going to be planning is around this circle as well, the centerpiece where there'll be a town hall, everything to do with the mayor's mansions, etc. And then we'll expand on that uh, just outside. So at, in the first couple of rings will be commercial and then on the very outside residential. So it won't be just a boring rectangular city, at least not this one. And we're going to be going for pretty much the best city that we can build. We don't want anything that's too bad. And now once people are moving in, we also get removalist trucks or vans. Bring in all the new people's things. Where are you going? Their AI is quite stupid sometimes. <laughs> it's funny to look at. Uh, you might have seen some pictures on different websites or Reddit on SimCity. Uh, some of the cops, I've seen a picture of the cops just uh, all, there's about 10 police these, this guy had. And they were all around one shop. It must have been a donut shop or something. And the whole city was pretty much screwed over with crime and all the cops were stuck in one little area. <laughs> I found it amusing. Okay, so at the moment, what is wrong? We don't have working power. We should. So let's check out the power. It's, okay, so we've only just started pumping it up. The reason is because in SimCity 5 is what I'll be calling it. But with SimCity 5 you have to go ahead and place the buildings first and then you have to hire workers out and that takes a bit of time. So it's not like you can wait until there's a fire to build a fire. Fire, what just gave me, fire station. <laughs> How embarrassing, uh, a fire station. It's because you need to hire workers out first and that takes time and you don't want buildings to be burnt down. So if we click on the electricity tab, we can see the electricity Coming up to the houses, there we go, it's lighting them all up, very good. And now because we've powered a lot of these houses up, we're able to build up a town hall. So the town hall is pretty much the most important building here. So we've built that, fantastic. So you can go ahead and upgrade that, you can upgrade up to once we get to the 5,000 residents and there's many different upgrades that you can get to the town hall. We'll be able to see all of them later on. At the moment, they've given us the opportunity to rename our city. I'm not gonna accept that. So we've got a neat amount of residential commercial, but we want better jobs. Now let's just go ahead and check out the water table. Okay. And there is a limited amount of water. If we click on this, it says 289 months supply of water here. So you do have to take into account the water does dry up from what I understand. And the rain, which does happen quite a bit, it does rain a fair amount. Uh, the rain fills up the water table, but from what I've seen, at least up until now, in launch, the water table doesn't fill itself back up. So I've got to figure out how that works. Okay, so now with the industry, let's go ahead and create some more curved roads. See where would be, okay. Like this, this would be a nice place. We, do, we aren't creating enough money. There's a simple solution to that. Just go ahead and speed up time to cheat in mode. So that way there'll be a bit more businesses, etc., and more houses as well, which means just more money being produced. So the petition to build a gambling house has been approved. It's all very well and nice, but as you can see, the roads are also being uh, filled up quite quickly, at least this section of road. We can upgrade roads and we've run out of money. So let's go ahead and take out another bond. Okay, speed controls have been back up, but at the moment, it's just a matter of time before we create more money and we've got the $25,000. So let's go back to creating curved roads. Now the lines that Max has provided for us are very, very handy because you can snap onto them. And that way you can build pretty much perfect roads so they're all perpendicular to each other and it's all very nice and symmetrical. Let's go ahead and get some industry. Now you might have noted that I'm not placing the industry buildings right next to the power plants. 
because the power plants, like most quality buildings, has upgrades. So let's get out of here and click on the coal power plant where accepting local coal deliveries their pollution levels are rising as you'd expect with a bit of industry but thankfully the wind is blowing this way down south so it's not going to be blowing over the people which would be definitely not a good sign so with all of these major buildings you can go ahead and upgrade them so with the coal power plants we can get an advanced coal generator which goes ahead and burns more coal but in turn that also produces more megawatts of power so all of these little upgrades are very very handy and they all add up they do cost a fair amount as well so you can upgrade your hospitals and all of that good stuff now there is a perfect amount of space here for all of these buildings to be upgraded and come out of nowhere which is also great because in this, there's no tiles or anything of the sort. You have to snap onto the roads. That's how you build. It doesn't seem like this area has been selected. There we go. That's good enough. Might, you know what? Another neat little trip is, trick is that you can just, uh, instead of having to drag on, you can just go over onto the other side and there we go. So that is a lot of industry. And we're going to end up connecting everyone once we have the time interesting to see how this road ends up we'll have to turn it around much more quickly but we're creating lots of money and that's good and we've got a nice amount of people almost a thousand and people always have their needs you know you've got to have your need for sleep you've got to eat and of course you've got to do your number ones and your number twos so with that we've got sewage uh, all of these dots is literally shit and we've got to build a sewage outflow pipe which will go ahead and suck all that poop in. Thankfully, we don't need to hire anyone for that. Now we're sucking all the poo in. And now the people will stop complaining. It's not like anyone really was, though. People are complaining a little bit about sewage, but that'll go. There we go. Those problems are gone. Let's put it back onto just normal mode. Speed. Add to that. Doesn't seem like anyone really has any issues here. Here we go. What do you want? This city's snarled in traffic, Mayor. We want mass transit. And people want health and... Well, someone's injured. No one's sick just yet. Instead, what I'll do is I'll guess a avenue. And I'll go for a straight road. Now, this is what I'll be doing. I'll be creating more arc roads, but I'll also be creating straight roads through here like that. So people will be able to get through to the center of the city a little bit quicker. Hopefully that makes sense. So let's continue on with the streets. Arc roads. You know what I could do? I could just follow this. Oh. Beautiful. That seems just about perfect. Now the distance between these houses is quite large. Let's see what we can do to fix all this up. Well, that's not good. that that's a bit better not not perfect it sucks that you had to get rid of that house but oh well now the we're not going for absolute symmetry symmetry and this is on up on a very big hill at least that's a town hall so it's, it should be the light on the sh the shining light on the hill the thing that people look up to it's amazing really uh is this a realistic time it is 121 it is 122 now <laughs> that is a realistic time i just love these little features that ea and maxis have put in it all just uh ties in together but now that we've put in this we've got to put in some other things so we need a clinic and firstly we need more money we've got to speed things up thankfully no one's dying <laughs> yet well, I do stress on the word yet. So, yeah, there's someone injured over there. So we're not treating the injured just yet. We just need to wait up a couple of hours. Don't worry. I'll save you, mate. I'll save you. 
the, the people ha do have lots of jobs. Baby formula and lead paint. <laughs> it sounds like we're industrial China here. The burger reprocessors, industrial beauty supplies, manufactured snacks. The hell is your problem? We need to have enough workers. Okay. So the need for residential buildings is still very, very high. That's okay with me. It's actually a very good thing, really. So let's build housing. Up over here. Okay, so people should be coming in. More of them. Also creates another arch road. And maybe I'll extend this one. At the moment, of course, we are saving up the health clinic. So we don't want people to be dying. Or getting... Oh, there we go. One person died. Definitely a shameful day for our city. So there is a very nice day-night cycle. And the best thing I think about the region is that now you can see from your city all your other different cities. So we've got this region over here. So you can see the highway leading into it. Let's see what else we can see. We'd be able to see our great works. Our, oh, the sun is definitely bright. Clearly very early in the morning and a bit of pollution. I guess coming out from the coal power plants. Okay, but we make we are making a lot of money. So let's get our first clinic. Now, in this, the Clinic and all the different utilities are measured out by, or their efficiency is measured out by the driving distance, not by a circular circumference, really. So that's really good as well. So that's why it's important to place it next to an avenue so people can get to the center of the city and also to the very outskirts of it. At least the ambulances can get there. Now with the ambulances as well, we are able to, or clinics, we're able to upgrade them by getting an ambulance bay, which will add more health coverage, as well as a patient room wing. So we'll be able to have more patients being served. So let's get out of that. Uh, let's check out the electricity and check that out. It's all going very well. So I'm going to start thinking about other things like a police station. Are people protesting yet? Oh, there's one. Mayor, we have reports of some crazy guy that calls him Dr. Vu, threatening the region. There's only way to, one way to defeat him. No regrets. You won't regret this. Reward is $5,000. Maxis Man, we have to bring him back. We need a bigger, we need a bit bigger of a town to give him a proper home. Maybe then he will come to save the day. Okay, so what's this mission? So we're going to have 2,500 residents, up Maxis Manor, and send Maxis Man on patrol. Okay, so I do have the, uh, the deluxe edition, I think they called it, which is, well, what that has is just lots of crap, really, that's not really necessary. Like, you have Dr. Vu, who's, like, evil. There's some evil good guy type of scene that they're doing. No one seems to be plopping out anything over there in this section. Let's check out it. Oh, that's because I haven't told anyone to build anything for you. Oh, but you need workers. Okay. So, what I'll do is I'll extend the road. Arch Road. Thank you. That's where are we going to join it to? Probably this. Spot. That's pretty good. Although I'll cancel that and I'll keep the angle a little tighter. No, alright. We're going to have to go with this. That's good enough for me. And okay. Now we're gonna have to extend this out. So one house is gonna have to disappear. That's alright by me though. Where are we gonna connect you to? Probably. Alright. That seems very, very smart and useful. There's a lot of these extra spaces here, but we'll see what we'll be able to fit in there. At the moment, of course, the biggest need is more housing, so let's give the people all of that. Okay. Now, I do need a bit of space around the clinic because with the ambulance base, etc., that, of course, requires a bit of space. 
So we're leaving that around there. It's about time we start thinking about a school. Just keep on getting more people though. Bringing them in as they move in. Slowly but surely, I might place another housing estate around here. Okay. Now the biggest need for these businesses seems to be people as well as industry. And we don't want them to be going bankrupt, so I just keep on building all these houses, etc. Now you might have noticed as well is that you can't really choose the density of your housing. That's pretty much demanded or decided by many different factors. We can get into them later on. You can also click on your houses to check the density. You can check, where are we? Population maps. So you can check what type of people is there are, you can see the cars, you can, we'd be able to see like different shoppers walking around, which are the blue guys, looks like that was a woman, um, as you expect, shopper, <laughs> and uh, we'll be able to see your workers, where are they, these yellow cars, and uh, yeah, should make sense at least, so at the moment there's still a big need for commercial, uh, not commercial, but residential housing, so we've still got to build it all up see how water pumps going it's managing very well the water pollution is still very low it's clean and we're still producing a excess amount so yeah we're pumping a lot more than we need so that's all good news check out electricity we're producing 73 megawatts excess power all right so it's time to go ahead and mitigate any fires that might be happening Let's build a fire station and let's find a good place to place it. Place one here. Because I do have a fair amount of money. And fire stations are very handy for... Well, it's handy to place it first off because you're going to be hiring people. So just in case there's a fire now, hopefully we'll be able to manage to get the fire out of here just in time. As the ambulance just comes around. I hope my insurance covers this. Some of the sims do say some rather quality quotes as well. Now we do want to stop any fires that will be happening around here. Ooh. More sick people, really. Okay. Well, I do want another health clinic, so I'll place one over here. So I can cover this section of the map as well. And then we'll place another couple. We'll probably have four of each type of utility building, as in fire, fire and um, health, that is. We need a bit of waste disposal. That'll come in time, though. Uh, what do you need, though? Plop Maxis Manor. What do we need for Maxis Manor? That's it. That'll be in, like, police deputy type stuff, wouldn't it? Maxis Manor. There we go. $40,000. So I'm pretty sure that this is in the deluxe edition only. It's a bit stupid. Maxis Man trains his body and mind to defeat Dr. Vu. Here when he's not responding to crime, fire, or injury emergencies. If Maxis Man captures Dr. Vu's, he will be told he holds him captive here. So confusion. So much confusion. Okay. So this was glowing at me. Right, that is because we can go ahead and upgrade the town hall. So we hit 5,000 people. Oh, what's your problem? No general shoppers going out of business. Don't worry, you'll have shoppers soon. So, you want a bit of parks, do you? People want to be happier. At least you do. Not enough workers closing. There are more cars on the road than people. Let's just get some buses already. Okay, that is a good idea. We can start getting buses etc but I'm gonna go ahead and complete this mission first which will give us an extra five thousand dollars and we'll be able to solve the Maxis Manor problems what's up with you hey man my friends and I want to do a firework show for everyone how can I refuse that reward huh safety Meh. we might cause some fires but no worries come on we have a fire station, so can we do it? The mission will cause fires. Oh. You know what? I'll accept that mission. 
Okay, so they're launching off the fireworks. At least that looks nice. Although it is daytime. Clearly not the brightest brunt bunch, these firefighters. So we'll have to go ahead and mitigate those fires by building things to stop them. Oh, here we go. So let's go ahead and get a fire alarm right on top. So what did that do? Fire trucks are dispatched twice as fast. Now we can go ahead and get some more fire trucks because they need their garages. Let's get another one. Okay, that's enough. Okay, so we should be fighting all those fires with no real problems. So there's more fireworks here. Okay, traffic doesn't seem to be too bad either. No buildings have burnt down. That's at least a good sign. Can't see any fire here. Which is there. We're, like, we're well, fighting that fire. Nothing here in industry. Nope. How is the poo going? That's good. We're still nowhere near capacity. But once you reach capacity with your poo outflow pipe, you're going to run into problems. There's going to be poo all over the ground, and that can definitely pollute the water table. That's why it's important to keep it out. Okay, ooh. These fire trucks, I'd assume, are causing a bit of problems. Might have to go get a, another guy in here. Another fire truck, that is. But, of course, as any mayor, we want to expand our tax base. Or any politician really we want to be making more money so let's just create more housing opportunities I'm surprised there's people that uh, or at least there's still a big demand for commercial at the moment that is kind of weird but it's time to go ahead and start educating our people so let's go get a grade school Educate your sims and you'll have more skilled workers, increases median wealth and residential land value. So, oh, god damn, that is a big fire. I'll place this. Let's see. I want it somewhere where there's going to be a fair amount of people. Probably over here. That's probably going to be the best place. Because there's a lot of space around here, so I'll be able to sneak in a couple of other buildings, etc. Those poor people. Poor, poor people. Don't you just love those graphics? Though? It looks very, very nice, this tilt box engine. Like the depth of feel, it's definitely there. It looks really, really good. Let's have a... Okay. a better look at that city. Okay, it's abandoned now. And it's rubble. Okay, it seems like we're managing to fight those fires pretty well. Uh, have we... Complete the mission? Not sure, really. We might have. Okay, but it's time to go ahead and build some school bus stops, which will enable people to go ahead and or go to school properly. Now, the way we are going to be building them is we're going to be building them on opposite sides of the road, so that way we stop congestion as well. That's an important thing, if we can. Oh no, you can't create overlapping. Maybe it's bus stops. I was reading by a Maxis employee. The best way to build bus stops, at least, is to go ahead and build them in, like, overlapping ways. So let's keep doing that. As well as over on this side here. And up around here. Okay. All this is commercial anyway. So. We're not too fussed about that, and we've got these hillbillies. But that costs nothing. All these bus stops cost very little. We don't want anything on the avenue anyway, because there's very few people living there at the moment. Okay, now the need for recycling is definitely quite large. So, let's go ahead and get our very first garbage dump. We'll place it over here. Now we're going to be hiring workers, and of course we can cover um, the other regions or our neighbours with our cities. We can outsource jobs there as well if we have, say, too many firefighters or something of the sort. That's useful. Uh, but we're not going to be doing that just yet, because after all, this is our very first city on our very first region. So once... Here we go. We should really 
delete some of or bulldoze some of these buildings here. That I'm sure have gone up due to fire. Cause no shoppers, that's no good. But new houses will come up. There we go. Okay. Um, I should be getting all that money from completing the firefighter's job, shouldn't I? At responding to fires. Where are we? If we click on here, we're able to see where the fires are, aren't we? There seems to be none. They just seem to be procrastinating. Here we go. Well, we see. Yeah, there we go. It's not, there's a fair few. So now that we've got an education, let's see. Okay, we need to expand the grade school quite a bit because we've hit capacity with 150 students. That's not going to be too hard. Just need to create some more classrooms, which increase capacity by 200. And of course, because we just have so many bus stops, we need a fair few buses in here as well. Somewhere else can we place more bus stops? Why are we not allowed to place them here? What's up? What's up with that? Just must be a space problem or something. I'm sure we'll figure it out later. But we've got a couple of kids playing around. It's good to see that these Sims are kids. Duck Duck Goose. They sort of do seem to be playing Duck Duck Goose, but they all seem to be having some muscular spasms. Oh, there's a school bus. So here's our town hall. It's been upgraded already. There we go. We've got the clock on the wall, after all. And we're about 40 minutes into the episode, so... We'll go ahead and end it soon. Uh, let's go ahead and see. So we need 15,000 people to upgrade next time. Check out the recycling problems. We should be going ahead and recycling out. Let's see. 143 garbage cans collected. We need a fair few more. There's a fire truck. So there's a helicopter here. Just flying around. Uh, so maybe because we've expanded quite a bit. Let's see. Should I? There's a garbage truck. So you'll be able to follow him. And he'll be collecting literally all the garbage here. He's definitely got quite a job on his hands though. You see he can collect 5 tons of garbage. He just collected about 0. 0.6. No, point. What was he on? I can't remember. But he just collected the garbage from the town hall and now he's going around. But we've got a rather small amount of garbage trucks, so we need to increase our garage. We've only got two. Let's go ahead and increase the amount that we have. Not enough money. Okay, cool. We're still creating $2,000 an hour. An in game hour, that is. Yes, there's garbage everywhere, don't worry. That'll stop. Oh, and here we go, we're getting some better density housing. And this is medium density, it's moving up. We'll be able to see if we go to zones and we can click on building density map. Okay. Now, not only does this look extremely good with all these little, uh, but it's so clean. That's what I like, and all these little columns, etc. But we can check over here. So the green, the greener it is, it's more likely to expand. The people are very happy and they're profitable in terms of rent. So all these people do seem to be quite happy. Where there's red, that's not good. There's going to be people moving out and they're struggling. So there's a big demand for, well, commercial. That's low density, well, low wealth commercial. So blue demand for shops, dark blue regional demand for shops. Oh, I did not know that. Is this dark blue? I don't think it is. I think it's just blue. So why would our region care? I'm going to click this to get rid of that overlay. Go back to the school. Okay, so we're nowhere near capacity there yet. Now, Let's see, are we able to build up? Oh. It must be like a hilly area where... Because we should be able to place a couple more here. It's not that we don't have enough money because they did not ask the ability to build it. Oh well. 
And then of course we can build classrooms on top of classrooms. So it can get to be quite a large school. Now health. People in jewel. There's uh, quite a few sick people. Uh, let's maybe go ahead and upgrade this clinic. I have to speed things up a little. But what I'll do is, let's see, how do we save and uh, exit? Really, I've got no idea how we save. It's a bit of an issue, really. <laughs> uh, because everything we don't save onto our computer, we save on EA's Origin servers. So that's definitely not a smart way to go about it, if you ask me, in my opinion. As our garbage trucks come along with all the school buses. See, that's definitely not smart. Because the garbage truck's got to go to every house and all the school buses are following him. Funny stuff. Okay. Maybe I could expand the roads. And that's what we'll do later on. But, until next time, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Go ahead and exit to the main menu. We'll see what will happen. Exit to main menu. Hopefully it will save. We'll see. In conclusion, hopefully you guys are enjoying. I guess we can resume right away. Let's go to play. We can go to look at our cities. Yes, yeah, so let's play AR. I should be able to join right back in. So until next time, make sure you hit that like button if you want to see more. Of course you do want to. And uh, depending on how hard you hit that like button, uh, it will be depending on how many episodes we upload. <laughs>